In this video, let's discuss the official salary breakdown of IAS officers, their realistic life, allowances and benefits of an IAS officer. Let's start with the harness life at IAS. This is Amit Kumar. He was a gate 2013 topper, got MTech at IAS, he secured a job at General Electric in 2015 IAS MTech placements with an estimated salary of 12 LPA. From 2015 to 2025, if Sir would have stayed working in his MNC for his role with yearly increments and promotions, his pay would have been approximately 50 LPA by now. But Sir quits it within two years prepared EAC and became an IAS officer. First main perk in the life of IAS officer is But in private, you know, like job security, so that's a little bit. And I'm convinced it isn't just about security because in 2018, Sir got gate AR on as well. So it appears it's more about IAS is an apex organization where you get the best departments through the best top-notch engineering. Whether it's a Central Vista project or a Chenab Bridge, these kind of mega structures will be built by you if you take the IAS out. So this brings a lot of opportunity to you to learn new things and new skills in your career. And authority. And how does a day of IAS officer looks like? The office hours are basically 9.30 to 6, five days a week. This is UPSC EAC Aaron Romit Sharma. Sir gave this interview a month before his official start of his work. If I get a chance to speak with Sir, I afraid Sir will disagree this. Because when I studied the officers on duty, like Aditi Saini and IRMS IAS officer, ma'am writes, my working timings are usually 9 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. It may go late or early. There is a considerable pressure to produce results. And going on, there are no fixed work timings. There is no Saturday, Sunday holiday promise. Ma'am is working at Indian Railways. Indian Railways is operational 24 by 7. In reality, even though these factors play a role, life as an IAS officer is more than a 9 to 5 job, but with direct contribution to our nation, with high level of authority and respect. Before discussing the salary and perks of an IAS officer, recently ESC 2026 exam notification got out with application deadline on October 16th. Some people had doubt. Let me clear and share all about the notification in 60 seconds. First, Compared to last 5 years, this year the total vacancies announced is the highest. Previous highest was in 2019 which is 495 and this year 494 vacancies. Second, exam is conducted only in civil, mechanical, electronics and telecommunication and electrical streams. So what about the others? This is Danish. He is a beta graduate in computer science department. But he attempted ESC in ENT stream and now an IES officer. So every engineering graduate can write ESC exam in their preferred stream and that literally means graduate not final year students now this brings us to the question how many vacancies in each stream there is no official disclosure on how many vacancies for each branch but historically consistently higher selections in civil stream around 40 to 45 percentage selections every time in civil rest all approximately 20 percentage each. fourth this is the age limit for each category fifth ESC exams will be conducted in three stages first prelims then mains then interview only those who qualify in prelims will qualify for mains and only those who qualify in mains will qualify for interview as of now just the prelims dates were announced also if you are looking for a quality ESC coaching I would recommend Gatebala ESC batches as they are not just the affordable ESC course in India but also taught by some of the best educators of India and they were able to produce rangers and for the first time PW launched Medavi ESC plus gate batch which is a limited enrollment batch tailored for students who wanted to study with focused mentorship and individual attention. If you are very serious, do check it out. Beyond that, all other Gate Plus EAC batches are at 50% off due to festival season. If you are planning for coaching, this is the best time to enroll. And an aspirant can get 500 rupees discount by using code RAGU500. Now let's get into the code. What are the perks and allowances of IES officers? One day while my gate coaching, my heat transfer faculty came 1 hour 30 minutes late to class. We were angry with sir, but sir was 2x angry angry towards the coaching institute. He puts up the mic and his opening lines were If something happened to me while driving my car and become unable to work, this academy don't do anything. 
my family will suffer i don't know anything about my coaching institute but while my research for this video i understand if an is officer sustains a serious injury government will take care of the officer till his lifetime that means all medical expenses are covered they don't fire or stop the pay of an officer instead they will give sufficient time for officer to get back to normal and they will welcome him back to service in unlikely case where the officer had to retire due to medical condition the government will provide lifetime pension for the officer in highly unlike case if the officer dies government will provide pension to spouse till her lifetime let me share four more powerful perks of an is officer perk 1 ltc in simple words free travel where government will pay an officer's complete travel to his hometown and a trip like any place in india once every 4 years and there is a privilege for civil servants an officer along with their family can travel by flight perk number 2 to understand this let me share the hierarchy of is officer when an officer gets first promotion he will get into 11th pay level as executive engineer or director and for every promotion his grade and pay increases in this hierarchy as per the official rule it is stated that the gazetted officers of a certain rank and above are entitled to an official vehicle and driver typically when an is officer gets one or two promotion they will get a car and gone are those days where ambassador was given i heard that nowadays officers are given comfortable and reliable mid size sedan and in certain departments or for special operational needs suvs may also be used with the driver perk number 3 paid study leave an officer can take study leave and during that stay of study an officer will get full salary every month and full funding to pay the college fees and government doesn't restrict an officer to pursue their higher education within india but also they can get admission in top 100 global universities where government will fund 35000 or 30 lakhs indian rupees approximately for first year and 45000 or 40 lakh approximately for second year perk number 4 the bangla an entry level gazetted officer will get a tie for government quarters which typically is a 2 bhk house but if an officer is not satisfied as aditi ma'am writes i get a decent house to stay it's 2 bhk broken at few places not fancy and completely unfurnished sometime i get water leakage from roof and tiles an officer can opt out of the government quarters and live on his own and hra will be paid but as aditi ma'am writes what i love the most is it is surrounded by unattended greenery almost wilderness because the house is situated in a secure government colony with other civil servants now let's get into the ultimate core what is the salary of an is officer firstly ias ips ies all civil servants come under the same pay structure an is officer is given salary as per level 10 of the 7th central pay commission pay matrix and there are five components in salary that decides the total enhanced salary first component is basic pay it's a fixed amount for a newly joined ias officer this pay is 56100 rupees and on basis of basic pay every other component is calculated and basic pay will increase in two cases one yearly increment two promotion which depends on your performance second component of salary is dearness allowance which comes around 50% of basic pay third is house rent allowance hra amount depends on the city an officer gets posted government classifies officers posting location into x y z classes and these are the percentage hra and amount for entry level officers in all three cities fourth component is travel allowance this is a fixed monthly amount provided to cover your daily travel expenses for commuting between home and office these four components adding up is gross salary from your gross salary a few deductions are made the amount left after these deductions is your enhanced salary for an entry level officer it will be 1.1 lakh a month and it's not a lot of money because my wife is working in private sector and we are both having almost the similar experience years and her salary is much more as compared to my salary now knowing the reality the ultimate question is 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 worth it while researching for this video i came across this video which debates between top private job and top government job in it lavish sir an is officer who did his ug from iit bombay then through iitb placements got into shell bangalore where he worked for an year then he transferred to then i was transferred to the houston, houston. there uh, the ttc i would say was about 150000 
thousand dollars, and then so that would be about once a year. Yeah, but he quits his high-paying job and joins civil services. After going through the journey of other civil servants, specifically IAS officers, what I realized is the engineers who are highly motivated to contribute to our nation at a higher leverage and authority through their passion engineering deliberately chooses Indian Engineering Service. So the question is not is IAS worth it. Rather, the better question is are we someone who had a strong desire to contribute to our nation with our passion engineering what's your opinion on this let me know in comments and this video isn't an end rather a beginning us rewarding the job at upsc is to crack upsc and aspirant should have from last one year i would say that on an average i used to wake up at 3 a.m and if required i used to wake up at 1 a.m also extreme discipline and while my conversation with romit sir sir despite a gold medalist in his ug post his graduation sir tried upsc civil services for five years and it didn't went well but sir fights back decided to prepare esc and cracked it in his first attempt now an ias officer at central electricity authority to crack this exam requires a lot of persistence if you are someone who is looking for scientific techniques to be disciplined then check out this video stay driven but i see the light from far away it's down the line maybe i should not give up without a fight